Hi, Bob here from Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. I want to wish each and every one of you a happy new year, 2024. In 2023, Amazon announced that they've now sold 200 million Fire TV devices worldwide. That is a lot of Fire Sticks, but did you know that every one of them comes pre-configured to collect data on you? How did you know that? I'm Donna. I know everything. That's right. While you've been sitting there binge-watching Suits to find out what all the hype is about, Big Brother's been keeping track of every click and doing who knows what with the data they collect. If you're one of the tens of thousands of people who got a new Fire Stick last month for the holidays and your privacy is important to you, you won't want to miss this video. I'm going to not only teach you how to turn off all those intrusive settings, I'm also going to show you a number of settings that will help make your Fire Stick experience a more enjoyable one. So if you're ready to learn, I have a lot to show you. So grab your remotes and let's go. All right, let's get started. So today I am on the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. But the settings I'm going to show you today are pretty much identical to the previous versions as well. I just factory reset this one. So this one should look exactly the same pretty much as if you were to just take yours out of the box and configure it by putting in your Amazon account and so on. And that's where we'll start. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our Fire Stick is up to date and has the latest updates. So to do that, you go all the way over to the gear and then you go down to where it says my Fire TV and click on about. At the bottom there, you will see it says check for updates. Now I've already done this, so in my case, it says your Fire TV is up to date. If you had any updates, just go ahead and let it do its thing. It may restart and whatever. Um, and when you get back here and you click check for updates, if it says it's up to date, you're good to go. So go ahead and hit the home button. Now let's start in with these uh, security settings that I mentioned earlier, and then I'm gonna get to some of the other uh, settings to make your Fire Stick work a little better and also uh, enable you to uh, install all the apps that you want. I'll get to that towards the end. So all the settings we're gonna be looking at today are pretty much in the gear. So go down and then go to preferences. You can leave the parental control settings alone. Let's go down to privacy settings. This first one, device usage data. This is one of the big ones. This basically is keeping track of everything that you do on the Fire Stick. It lets them know what you might be interested in to try to sell you things. So when you click on this, it's going to give you some more information. It says, we use data about your use of this device to provide customized marketing offers you might enjoy. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to cut to the chase and just turn this off. It's none of their business. Not interested. The next one, it says, collect app usage data. If we click on this, it gives us some information. It says, the App Store collects information on their frequency and duration of use of the downloaded apps in order to improve the App Store experience. Again, we don't need them collecting any kind of data on us. This isn't necessary. Um, we're gonna install the apps that we want. We don't need Amazon telling us what we want. Turn that off. The, the next one is interest-based ads. And this is tied in with your advertising ID, which is basically a profile, um, a unique profile that's just for you um, that will kind of keep track of everything that you do so it can show you specific ads on your all your Amazon devices. Definitely don't need this. So go up to interest-based ads and turn that off. And again, you can go ahead and read some more info on this if you want to. The next setting we want to look at is under data usage monitoring. This one is off by default, but I figured I'd show you what this is. Basically, if you have a internet connection that is limited in bandwidth, like you can only use X amount of megabytes or gigabytes per month, uh, you can go ahead and turn this on and what it will let you do, it can set a data alert. So if you get to like say 90% of your data usage for the month, you can uh, get an alert to let you know about that. I don't think that's really relevant uh, for most people in these cases. So we can go ahead and uh, leave that off. Next thing is notification settings. Now this setting is a little deceiving because it says off, meaning that you don't think you'll get any notifications, but it's actually the opposite. It's like a double negative. Do not interrupt is off, meaning it will interrupt. So it says turn on to hide all application notification pop-ups. And you can go ahead and do that because you're not going to necessarily want to pop up in the middle of what you're watching to let you know that, you know, a new show is on TV on some channel that you don't have. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. 
Next thing is featured content. Now, this is that uh, at the top third of the screen on the home screen, you'll see that there are some videos up there um, and they will play. If you go up to the top, let me show you what I'm talking about. It'll start playing these videos and these are basically ads trying to sell you uh, content for the most part. And that also plays with sound. So if we go over back to the gear, go down into our preferences and go back into featured content, we're gonna wanna go ahead and turn both of those off now, unfortunately, those things are still gonna be up at the top of the screen, but they're no longer gonna be videos and they're no longer gonna be playing sound. There's no real way to get rid of that other than installing like a custom launcher or something. And that's a video for another time. But if you are interested in that, I'll put a link in the description below for a video that will show you all about that. And the rest of these settings are pretty much okay the way they are. Now, as you probably know, the Amazon Fire Stick is one of the most popular uh, streaming devices in the world. And that is mainly because you're able to install uh, third party or unofficial apps that aren't in the Amazon App Store. In order to do that, you need to do something some people call jailbreaking the Fire Stick. But it's really only a couple of settings we need to change. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So if we wanna install apps that aren't in the App Store, let's go over to the gear and go down to My Fire TV. Now, in between about and legal and compliance, there's supposed to be something here called developer options. Amazon got rid of that last year in an update, and we need to be able to get to developer options for a reason I'm gonna explain in just a little bit. But to get developer options back, it's really easy, and let me show you how. Click on about, and then just leave it hovering over the name of your device. In my case, it's the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Now, hit the select button, that's the one in the middle seven times and watch what happens when you do one two three see three more two more one more it says no need you are already a developer so now when you go back out look what we have in between about and legal and compliance we have this thing called developer options we're going to need that in just a minute now let's go back to the home screen and i'm going to show you an app that you need that will tie in with this to install just about any third party or unofficial app that isn't in the amazon app store you're gonna need an application called Downloader. That application is free and it's in the Amazon App Store. So go over to the magnifying class, go down to search, and you can either use the voice button on the remote or you can just start typing in the word Downloader and you will see it right there. It's very popular. It's probably the, the most popular app installed on all Fire Sticks. So click on that, click on it once again. Now, if this is your first Fire Stick and you've never had it before, this is gonna say, get it, it's free. But because I've already done it on a thousand Fire Sticks probably, it says download, you own it. So click on that and let that install and click okay. Now, don't open it quite yet. What I want you to do is hit the home button one more time. And now let's move over to the gear go down to My Fire TV, and now let's go back into that developer options. Go down to where it says install unknown apps. And now where it says downloader, we wanna change this to on because what this is going to allow us to do is install apps with the downloader app. The downloader app is basically a browser. It's like a web browser that you can go to certain places like the Cord Cutters Alley website or other places that have apps to install on your Fire Stick. So it'll say off like this. Go ahead and click the select button on the remote and change that to on. And then you can go ahead and go back to the home screen. This bar right up here, we call the favorites bar where you have the top six apps that you use most commonly. Downloader will certainly be one of those. And the easiest way to get downloader on this favorites bar is to go over to this icon right here with the three boxes and the plus and click on it. And the last app installed is always gonna be on the bottom of your list. And to get there quickly, just move to the left. And there it is, downloader is right there. Now let's briefly tap the button on the remote with the three lines, that's the menu button. When you do that, you'll see it'll say, move to front is one of your options and do that. And as you can see, after you hit the home button, it brings downloader right front and center. Now, the first time you open up downloader, let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna get a message that says, allow downloader to access photos, media, and files on your device. This is absolutely necessary for this app to function properly because it does need to install files on your Fire Stick. So click allow and then click okay on this screen. I'm not gonna get into installing apps in this video. However, 
feel free to browse the Cord Cutters All I YouTube channel and you will find dozens, literally dozens of apps that you can install with the instructions. Most all of them are using this downloader app. Now, when it comes to privacy, and especially when using some of these third party or unofficial apps on your Fire Stick, it's imperative to have a VPN that you can trust to keep you connected and protected while streaming. The one I use and recommend is IP Vanish. And in fact, they're running a sale right now. I thought it was going to end at the end of the year, but it's still going. It's 77% off for two years, and they give you three months free. Or you can opt for the 12 month plus three months free option for 72% off. This VPN will work on all of your devices, not just your Fire Stick, but your computers, your cell phones, your tablets, all the devices that you use to get online. For me, I don't use any of this stuff without my VPN being connected. Each of these subscriptions come with a money back guarantee for 30 days. So if you don't like it, you can get a refund. I'll put a link in the description below if you do want to give it a shot. Buying one of these inexpensive subscriptions goes a long way to support the Cord Cutters LI channel, and that is much appreciated. So there you go, all the settings that you really should take a look at changing on your Amazon Fire Stick today. So if you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this one and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Ally videos with your friends. This is one of the best ways that you can help to support the Cord Cutters Ally channel. Thanks for watching.